Hey guys! Alright, so for this session we are going to learn the signs of different types of jobs. Um, I wanted to just kind of let y'all know they're not, these are not only the ones that have signs. There are many out there, but these are the ones I felt were kind of most, excuse me, basic or most commonly would be used. Um, if there is a specific job you are curious if there is a sign for, you can ask Katie or ask me next class and I'll be more than happy to either give you sign it for you or find someone who does know that answer. All right, so let's get started. So the first one I have is of course teacher. So what you'll notice with a lot of these signs is that they're going to have something like, they'll have like one motion or a sign that's like this, which is the sign for teach. So teach, and then they'll have this, which means person. So teach person, teach er. And that's what a lot of them do is because these are also words that are used just commonly. And instead of making it, creating a whole new sign for it, they've just added on a person to show you that you're specifically talking about a person. So for teacher, you would say teach person, teacher. Then I have doctor. And these are one of those few occasions where you don't actually have to use the person but most of them they do. So, doctor. You'll have your non-dominant hand palm up, your dominant hand like this, it's gonna bend down, and it's gonna go doctor. Doctor, you usually have it like doctor. And it's like, you know, checking for your vitals around your wrist, so, doctor. Nurse is usually, I've seen this, but if you were trying to be more specific, I have seen people where they will use just two fingers Nurse, 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 nurse. Then we have dentist. So teeth, person, dentist, dentist. And then the next one is lawyer. Lawyer is going to be law and usually have it like this, law. But for you guys to make sure you see, it's an L of your dominant hand. Non-dominant hand is sideways palm. You're just gonna tap L twice. Top, bottom, law. Lawyer, so lawyer. All right, the next one is counselor. So count, the sign for counsel is gonna be your non-dominant hand's kind of in a fist. Your dominant hand's gonna start like this and you're just gonna spread. Counsel, counsel, counsel. So then it would be counselor, counselor. And that would be used for a school counselor as well as a summer camp counselor. They use the same sign. And then we have engineer. So engineer is gonna be the sign for measure, which is this. You're gonna have your two wise touching thumbs and your dominant hand's gonna shake. Engineer, engineer, engineer. And then you'll add that, that person. So engineer, engineer. And then we have the sign for chef. So chef is gonna be the sign for cook, which is cook. You'll have your non-dominant hand palm up, dominant hand, just gonna do a flipping motion. Almost like it's like you're flipping a book as well as flipping food that's in a pan. So cook, and then you'll add the person. So chef, chef. Then we have baker. And so baker is gonna be the motion of bake, which is non-dominant hand sideways. Dominant hand's gonna come under and it's bake. It's almost like how you're putting like a cake in the oven, putting your cookies in the oven. So this is the sign for bake, then baker, baker. And you don't have to have it as high, like almost like face level. You really don't want to, you want it lower, but this is just so you can see it better. So usually it'd be more like baker, baker. The next one I have is coach. So like a soccer coach, you know, a football coach. And so that would be, you would first sign the sport and like for football, 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 coach. And it's like, just kind of like you're resting your hands, like you're grabbing your shoulder. Coach, 
coach. This is also the sign for boss. So like if you're saying like, my boss, her name is blah, blah, blah. Like boss, boss. Then we have president. So if you're a president of a company or if you're describing someone who's a president of something, you would go president. You would start here and you go out. It's like you're making them form of horns. President, president. And that's also the same for the president of the United States. Um, you would go president and then fingerspell their name. Now, some presidents do have name signs, but if they don't, you would just fingerspell their name. Then for vice president, you just go VP. VP. Vice president. Very easy. So the next one I have is the sign for business. And so business is going to be your non dominant hand is sideways. You don't want your thumb up. You just kind of want to fold it. Almost like you're making a B with it. And then your dominant hand is going to be in a B going business. Business. You just go back and forth. So that can be really talking about like any kind of thing, like I run a business. So if you were saying you are like a businessman, you'd be business person, business person. Then we have scientist. So scientist is gonna be two slightly open days and then you're just gonna go science. This is the sign for science right here, science. And it's like you're pouring in the bottles for those experiments. So you do scientist. Scientist. And a lot of times what people do to help clarify, like if you're a biologist, they'll do the bees and do biology. Um, for chemistry, they'll do the C's chemistry. So that is another thing that's kind of added. And I see a lot of people use that in ASL as well. So. I tend to use that just to kind of help clarify if I'm talking about an actual specific form of, of science. But a lot of times you also can, when in doubt, fingerspell biology if you really want to make sure they know that you're talking about that certain subject. The next one I have is writer, so an author. And it's going to be the sign for write, which is your non dominant hand is sideways like this. And your dominant hand, it's almost going to be like it's pretending to hold a pen. It's very much what you would think of when you think of a writing writer writer. So you write, just, you know, pretend scribble, writer, writer. And then you would probably want to go into like write books, like writes books or writes like art, like articles. So, because I know that there could be, if you're trying to be clear on, if I write, you know, children's books or if I write like science fiction you know that way you have that clarity of what kind but the main you're just saying you're a writer 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 the next one I have is artist so you will use the sign for art which is non-dominant hand is again like this you have your dominant hands pinky up and you just scribble scribble it's like you're painting almost now you don't do this you do this. You kind of sideways. Artist. Artist. Now it's not matter if you do big squiggles or little ones. It's just however makes sense for you. I always just go kind of like I'm making a wave. Artist. Then I have police officer. So a lot of times this one it's also like saying like if you're a cop kind of point to that is you'll have almost like you're making a singular C and you're gonna go on the with your dominant hand and across to your non-dominant shoulder and you're just gonna tap tap and for most of y'all that is your left side but um for those who are left-handed it's over here and that's just to represent their badge you know so cop then we have manager now this can be any type of manager there's no actual specific of like Oh, if I'm a business manager, or if I am a restaurant manager, it's all over. And it is, you're going to do these motion. It's, it, it's like this, where you have almost like your X's, and you're going to go back and forth. And this is time for like manage. So I'm going to go upside down so you can see it like this. This is kind of like an aerial view. 
manage. Manager. Manager. And then I have, so your profession. Like if you're a professional, what you would say is, this is also the time for major, might I add. So like if you're talking about your major in school, which is very similar to what your profession is. If you're like me, who's my major is education, my major is teach, my profession is teaching. So you'll have your non-dominant hand, again, in that like sideways B. Your dominant hand is also in that B, and it's going to go across it. So this. And this is like the sign for major profession. Major profession. Major profession. Then I have the sign for interpreter. And this is not just an ASL interpreter. This can also be a Spanish interpreter, French interpreter, any type of interpreter. So the sign for interpret is you're going to make, make your nines or your Fs. Your non-dominant is going to be slightly, slightly hunched forward, not fully. Your dominant is going to start up and then go bouncing it. Interpret. Interpret. So interpreter. Interpret. Interpreter. And then I have about four more. The other one I have is librarian. Very easy. Sign for library. Librarian. Librarian. Then I have musician. And so the sign for musician and singer is the same one. If you are specifically talking about something, you might want to, you would probably want to almost elaborate a little more. Because the sign is, so the sign is you use music, which I'm going to go sideways because it's, it's usually facing forward, is music. And this is your non-dominant hand. This is my dominant. One with my watch has my, is my dominant hand. So music. It's almost like you're making waves. It's almost like you're trying to show like the sound waves that come out when you're singing or when you're playing a musician. All right. And then, oh wait, sorry, musician, <laughs> musician, you add that person afterwards. Then the next one I have is planner, so like if you're a wedding planner, you would go wedding, so wedding starts kind of like this and comes up, wedding, 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 and it's them like combining, the two hands joining as one, so wedding, plan, Plan is going to be almost like you're showing the size of a box. You start from one area and you just keep moving. And it's like, here's a plan, here's your plan, here's your plan, here's your plan. It's like the next step. So plan, person. So wedding, plan, person. And that's just the sign for any type of planner. You know, if you're an event planner, sports planner, you would have plan, or plan, -er. And that's also, this is just the sign plan itself. So if you're describing like, I have a plan for our next event, I have a plan for how we're going to spread awareness, plan, plan. And then the last one I have is IT. And what is easy about it is you just go IT, IT. And I always add technology at the end. So you'll have your non-dominant hand sideways again, and your dominant hand's gonna be open, but with the middle finger pointing, and you just tap technology so IT technology and the reason for that is because I just feel saying just finger spelling IT can get a little confusing sometimes because for me at least I will think of the actual word it <laughs> and that's not what I'm talking about I'm talking about a technology person someone who's familiar with that so that's all I have um, I'm more than happy to provide more if you guys have any questions but that's all we got for right now. I hope you guys have the rest of, um, a great rest of y'all's week. And see you guys next week. Bye.